I'm Jessica Washington, a senior reporter at The Root, and here's what you may not know. After being denied clemency, 37-year-old Kevin Johnson was executed by the state of Missouri on Tuesday. Johnson was the fifth person executed by the state this month. His 19-year-old daughter was barred from her father's final moments on the grounds that she was too young. Ironically, her father was just 19 years old when he was arrested and sentenced to death for the murder of a police officer. Supporters of Johnson's, who was black, say he turned his life around in prison. Johnson's daughter said that despite his incarceration, he was a good father. Her mother died when she was four years old, and Johnson was the only parent she had left. Johnson's attorneys and supporters also argued that the prosecutor in this case, Robert McCullough, was racially biased. You know, he took it upon himself to make sure that racism, discrimination, and all of the ills of our society uh, you know, were well uh, embedded in his prosecutorial, pra prosecutorial practices. In an interview with St. Louis Post-Dispatch, McCullough denied accusations that race was a factor in this case. Nationally, racial differences in death penalty sentences are quite noticeable. Despite making up 13% of the population, Black Americans represent 34% of all executions since 1976, according to the Death Penalty Information Center. The larger bias persists in the race of the victim. In approximately 75% of all death penalty executions since 1976, the victim was white, far outstripping the percentage of murder victims who identified as white. The courts have time and time again rejected the argument that the application of the death penalty in the United States is racially biased, and this case was no different. The Missouri Supreme Court sided against Johnson's lawyers, but just looking at cases like Johnson's and the larger trends, it's hard not to have some serious reservations about our country's readiness to sentence people to death. For more information about criminal justice issues and other death penalty cases, check out theroot.com.